This week on Lick of the Week, we're going to be doing one of my all-time favorite B.B. King solos. We're actually going to be doing a little bit of the uh, intro to Sweet Little Angel off of the Live at the Regal album. Uh, it's absolutely one of my all-time favorite things. I've probably uh, stolen and played that lick on more gigs than I care to admit. Um, as far as other stuff goes, we have an open house coming up here in my studio, which is also going to be an online event. We're going to be having live webcasts, uh, not only a special guest um, blues artist, who I'm actually pretty excited about, um, who I'm hoping to have confirmed by next week, um, but myself and Tom Harkenrider. We're going to be doing clinics that are going to be broadcast live online on our uh, Ustream TV channel. Uh, on the day September 10th, but we're also going to be raffling off a guitar and some uh, free one-on-one -on -one webcam lessons and some other stuff. We did this last year. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I'll have links to a whole bunch of information uh, on the lesson page for this, uh, as well as the notation. All right, I'm going to play the, uh, the beginning of this one time for you, uh, all the way through, and then we'll actually go through and, and do it bit by bit. <laughs> Alright, so we're in the key of C sharp blues. Um, the chords, these are the first four bars of this. Um, the chords are going to be uh, C sharp 7, uh, F sharp 9 or F sharp 7, and then back to the, the C sharp dominant chord. Um, just like, basically it's the first four bars of a 12 bar blues with a quick change. All right. So at the beginning of this, B.B. Uh, King does this thing that I love where he plays over the one chord, he tends to play a real major sound or major pentatonic or, or notes out of that major chord. All right. So we're going um, 9, 11 on the second string, 9 on the first string. All right. And this is out of the major pentatonic scale right there in that position for C sharp. 9, 11, 9, and then you're taking the 11th fret on the first string and bending up a whole step. Right, and that's as major as major gets. That He's bending up up to the uh, F or E sharp, which is part of that C sharp chord. Uh, normally, if you we were to play uh, in the minor pentatonic or blues scale, you know, you wouldn't be getting the note that actually makes this a, a major chord. All right, so this is the first thing. Is he's, he's outlining the, the notes in this chord pretty nicely. But then to top that off, he actually plays the chord. <laughs> C sharp uh, major, basically. He's playing ninth fret on the first and second strings barred, and then the uh, tenth fret on the, uh, on the third string, which is just all part of this C sharp seven or, or major chord. You know, and I'll um, I'll kind of dig in. I've got everything pretty well muted, so I get this rake into it, and it really it's nice. One, two, three. All right, and it's I don't know. You don't have to do it. I just I like doing it. I think it sounds pretty cool. So that's the first two bars. Now the next lick, this is the quick change. This is over the four chord, uh, or the F sharp dominant chord. So he switches from playing that major pentatonic sound to playing a minor pentatonic sound. All right, so we're taking um, your 12th fret on the second string, bending it up a whole step. All right, and then uh, you're going ninth fret on the second string, and then pulling from 11 to 9 on the third string, and then 11 on the fourth string. And that's one beat of 16th notes, 3 E and uh, So you really want to think of those as one actual grouping of four. And I'll do that pull off 11 to 9 right there. And then you have to come down to position. It's 8, 6, 6. All right, and I look at that as being one lick. Right, the next little bit, and, and the notation rhythmically, it, it's written 
as close as I could get it with my software. But if you listen, uh, it doesn't really sound exactly as I've got it written. But he plays uh, going back into the one chord in the third bar. He plays a, a major pentatonic lick. Um, six to eight on the fourth string. Six on the third string. And then he's playing ten on the third and nine on the second together. Remember our our chord from the, the, the second bar, or the first full bar of this? He's actually playing part of that already. So in context, you've got, this is the first bit. That's how that all fits together. And then he repeats that bit. So you're going not, uh, six, eight on the fourth string. 6 on the 3rd, and then you're going to take your 2nd finger and slide up to the 10th fret on the 3rd string, and the ninth fret on the 2nd string. And that's a very major sound over that one chord. Now this last little bit of the lick, and you know, we're kind of looking at like we're back in that minor pentatonic. You've got the ninth fret on the 1st and then 2nd strings, and I'll roll that finger like that and then pull off the 12th fret to the 9th. So that's very minor pentatonic. You know, or you can also look at his chord tones. That's the root, that's the 7th, that's the 5th. Uh, so, and then 11, pull off to uh, uh, 9, and then hammer on to 10 on the 3rd string. What this is doing, this is the 3rd of the chord. And he's starting a half step above it, pulling off to a half step below it, and then hammering on to the third. So you're surrounding the third. And that's a great little kind of jazzy lick. All right, so let me play the whole thing for you. That's the whole bit. Um, take a look at this whole solo. This entire 12 bar solo is, is really cool and he's got a lot of vocabulary he's going between the major and the minor sounds as the chord changes go by. Um, I'm going to have a, a bunch of links to lessons that illustrate these ideas uh, on the forum page for this. So really, really take a look at that because not only are you going to get the, the notation and the guitar pro uh, tab and all that other stuff, but you're also going to get a few extra lessons that are going to help you with these concepts.